What's up, team? Here we are. We're alive. We're alive here. You are looking at this. This is a painting of the peg leg monkey on a table, and he's the subject of the discussion between the big old face and the skunk man. Neither of these characters have a name. Perhaps someday they will have a name. Sometimes names seem inappropriate to me. Skunk Man, I think, is a great name. Peg Leg Monkey is a great name, even though they're not names. Big Ol' Face, while hilarious, is more of a title than a name. Like, he's the guy with the big old face, or hey, there's Big Ol' Face, more of a nickname. In the background, we have a painting of a painting. This is Guadalupe. It's a painting of this painting right here. And a paint, this paint, painting of a five minute this is a painting of this painting, which is a painting of a drawing, a five-minute, uh, five-second drawing of Batman. I hope that was clear to you, cave dwellers. Welcome aboard, everybody! Thank you for being here. Where is my lifty loo? This is the where we invoke the affectations. This red candle, almost done. Red is the color of Ishu Legua and Saint Expedite. So let's see if we can double team. The spiritual people and the deity slash deity slash saint and get some help here. Monsieur Legua, open the gates. Open the gates so that we can move between spirit and material. And Saint Expedite, help us to expedite matters and get things done today. Okay, team, I know I need Expedite, Saint Expedite to help me because I need all the help I can get because I need to get things done today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that is to say, I procrastinate a lot. That's what I'm trying to say. Maybe you do too. Maybe you have a procrastination procrustation. So this is where we are. This is my living room. And looking at this painting from across the room, I realize there's a strong diagonal right here. You can probably see it because it's reduced in size. When I'm stepping up right close to it, it uh, I don't see the big picture. I don't see the overall composition because... I, I, I get lost in the details, the many layers of paint that have gone on here. Uh, so I'm going to try to remember what I did, and from far away this just looks like a mass of black. Up close it looks alright though. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. I might just add some lighter purple here. Let's do that, see what happens. I'm going to mute this purple with gray. Oh, maybe I'll use some burnt umber. I mean, yeah, umber. Let's try raw. No, let's try burnt umber. The players. The players are handy. Oh, cave dweller. I'm sorry. Here we are. We are here. This is a clock where we will watch as things pass. And I used, I used to keep it over here. I think from now on I'm going to keep it over here. How's that? Yeah, you can sort of see it. Unless I am have my big ass in front of it. So we are about here. When it gets to here, we'll have an anime review from an anime I'm watching right now. And when it gets to here, we'll try to wrap things up. When it gets to here, I'll talk about current events. That is everybody's most hated portion of the Scrouse Live. Because I guarantee my idea of current events and how we should think about them is not your idea of how we should think about them. And the reason for that is because I don't... Tr well, We'll get into it later. Okay, so I've got I'm mixing up this raw umber and and um black and white and no raw umber and white and dioxazine purple. This is my new tube of white. Came in the mail the other day, two three weeks ago. Speaking of two three weeks ago, it was still winter back then, and I was like, come on, Wisconsin. The weather in Wisconsin drives me nuts because, as one of my professors said in grad school, she was from South Africa, she's like, I hate spring in Wisconsin. It's just one long tease. And it is because your body is continually acclimating to the increased te warmth in temperatures, the increased, the increased temperatures, but remaining cold. So, because you're dressed, you're not wearing it, we acclimate and take off layers of clothing and now we're cold again we long to be able to out be outside in t-shirts like we can today and then as soon as it happens as soon as the opportunity to be outside in a t-shirt like today is too humid 
All right, now I've just mixed up a beautiful color. Uh, I, I look at this and I see that it's still very bright and what I need is more of a color like this. So I'm actually going to attack this vigorously with magic sauce. Magic sauce is the special sauce that is magic. It makes things transparent. I gotta add a lot of it. And I want to do that because I don't want to use water because water makes it too thin. And then it runs. I don't want it to run. I want it to stand still. Mix it up again. I planted a garden last week and I immediately got yelled at. My home is inside a church and my yard is this giant lawn that the church has. Well, I learned this week that they don't consider it my lawn. <laughs> I dug up this patch next to the garden. There's a garden. You can rent a garden plot. Outside the fence, I dug up a patch and I was going to plant native Wisconsin type flowers. Boy, did that cause a flurry of activity. People, men were red faced, women were crying. I'm just painting over the legs here of the table. This is, and I'll wipe this off too. I'm going to have to wipe it because I just, all I want is, there's too much white and it's too opaque. I wanted something transparent. But I also wanted this color to be subdued. It's got to subdue it over here too. I've gone over this floor color too many times. Right, let's wipe it and see what happens. Just subdue it a little. That's all we're asking. That's all we want, man. We just want a little subdudes. All the strokes going in the same direction. Get all the towel strokes going in the same direction. Like I often say, the process of painting is destruction, creation, creation, destruction, 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 creation, destruction, creation. And hopefully somewhere along those lines you end on a creation and not a destruction. And then your painting's done. Let's get the bottom. I haven't touched the bottom in a while. You can see many layers ago was the last time I touched it. reason is because it's painting is actually sitting on this surface now I can just throw it back on the easel but now it's gonna dry and stick to the easel that's what you get you're painting on live TV live TV speaking of live TV we'll be speaking of live TV in a second all right now that that's better I can tell that's better this is too dark, or this is too light, or this is too dark, and the wrong color. I don't know. It should be all mo it. They should be grayer, like this purple I just put down. What happens if I put, put it up? Oops. Wipe it off. That did nothing. Well, oh, there's a hint of something there, but it's not really anything. It'd be nice if that was purple because the because of some there's so much yellow. This needs to be whiter because I need more white in the painting to reflect the pants for the pants to bounce off of. Hello, Ect Jab. Ect Jab is joined me on Instagram, which is the semi-close-up cam. He went to grad school while I was an undergrad. We overlapped, we crisscrossed at our alma mater, UWM, University of Wisconsin. Not a recommended source of education, let alone art education. Those people treated me contemptuously. 
and I will never forgive them. Or I can forgive them and just continue to tell people that they treated me contemptuously. Is that forgiveness? I don't know. What's the difference between forgiving and being a chump? Jesus, answer me this. Answer me this. Jesus, there's a reason I pray to the Ifa over you. It's because everything you say doesn't, uh, it doesn't help anything. Forgive your enemies so they can treat you like a chump. And that brings us to Disco Jesus. I recommend you go to your local supermercado and get in the candle section, pick up a Disco Jesus. It's perfect for pouring coffee into. I love pouring and drinking coffee out of my Byzantine Disco Jesus. E Probler's Unum. Amen. I think that works. I still want to subdue this. This should be bright. This should not be bright. I'm going to do it with that burnt umber. I really like the way that turned out. I am always learning new things about color and how to, how to get effects that I want with color. Every pigment that you choose, every pigment does something different. I needed something dark I needed a gray for this to mix with the purple to subdue the hue and instead of using black to make the gray I used burnt umber and it gave it gave me both a sh um, a shade wait tint tone shade it gave me a shade because I mixed it with gray well it wasn't it was kind of it was a hued gray I mixed it with a hued gray which is something I typically don't do, and the, I like the results. So I'm going to do that again, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, bro, I'm trying to say that. I'm going to do it again. Oh, but I forgot. I need white on this. Let's uh, get the magic sauce. Magic sauce is also known as glazing fluid. I ordered some the other day. I don't know when it's going to come in the mail. I had thought that I had ordered it a month ago, but it turns out I had not ordered it. It was just waiting in my shopping cart. My ethereal shopping cart. This white I'm mixing with the magic sauce for transparency. And this is good. I might have to use more than one layer. Got some water in there. It's dripping. This is not the stage of the painting where I want it to drip. I, well, I, sh I should just let it. I shouldn't be so controlling. I keep saying I like... Okay, so I'm going to just leave that and we'll see if it is junk and I need to undo it slash redo it or kick myself for leaving it. Now then, let's mix up the hued reduction in tone yellow. Wait, hued gray mixed with yellow, which ends up being brown. Dang, nab it. But it's a, it's a golden brown, which is what I want for these inner walls. It's the color of my walls. Picked out by a former girlfriend. Because I, this was done during a time when I was living on student loans, which is to say living on negative money. And I didn't want to spend any money on decorating. And she's like, you promised you'd let me decorate your apartment. I'm like, I don't want to spend any money on paint. And I don't own the place. It was a whole big thing and finally I gave in. So, we'll do this. This is somewhat better. Yeah. It's lighter and it's... But it, yet it's not brighter. Okay, so this can go like this. I like how the two walls don't meet right here. I want to preserve that. I should have added magic sauce to this yellow. It's too opaque. I'm losing my layers. All right, magic sauce, here we come. The trouble with magic sauce is it increases drying time. That's great if you like painting wet on wet. It's actually not great if you like painting wet on wet because you can't paint wet on wet with acrylic because it smears. So, this isn't enough magic sauce. Maybe 
maybe just the dry brush technique will do it. Let's see. I liked it when it was dark. Is that better? Look at the small version. Oh, that's much better, actually. I don't remember what it looked like when it was dark, though. Okay, well, um, let's see if we can get some more magic sauce. Then do this wall. So, I'm gonna let that sit for a couple seconds, see what happens. Guess what time it is? Current events. As you know, Cave Dweller, it's one thing on top of a freaking another here. This is the craziest year I've ever seen in current events in my life. We may be witnessing Armageddon. When I was in middle school, my mother used to never come home from work until way late, and I used to always think, has the rapture happened? I had this nagging fear that I had been left behind, which was terrifying because that meant I was going to be tortured to death as a Christian. You know, after once or twice when Ma finally comes home, you'd think I would lose this fear. But no, I would actually go outside and look in the sky. I would look in the clouds like, where are the angels? I, I didn't hear Gabriel blow the trumpet. Does that mean I'm safe? Oh, my goodness. It was terrifying. But... I always wanted to live through the end times because I wanted to be up, taken into the sky enraptured with Christ because I didn't want to die. Death is, was the most terrifying thing. In fact, that's the only reason I was a Christian. No, two reasons. One, I didn't want to die. Two, I wanted to walk with God like a prophet in the power and miracles. Uh, well, uh, one of those hasn't panned out that well and the other one probably won't pan out at all. So I'm a little bit disappointed. And, but yet, here we are. We're in the end times. We're in some kind of Armageddon, and it's the end of the world, which means a new world will start shortly. Hopefully, it will be a better one. Uh, like after the American Revolution, things got better. Well, maybe after this revolution of chaos, something awesome will happen. We are being managed, Cave Dweller. Have you noticed the videos of piles of bricks randomly left in streets and protest sites? No construction anywhere, but there's a pile of bricks you know, freshly laid off of the fork truck on pallets. And they're there. It's just, it's violence bait. We are being violence baited. There's, we are being put at each other's throat. Perhaps the murder of Floyd was legitimate, like a legitimate racist murder. Perhaps he was a paid actor. We don't know. All we know is that protests, peaceful protests, are being subver subverted by dumbasses. Or by paid actors. Either way, they're being subverted. You, when you, I must retract my last episode where I said I'm for riots. What I meant is I'm for a directed protest of takeover. Take over the police station. That seems legitimate to me. You know, shut it down. Stop the police. That seems legitimate. Why didn't the people who were filming Floyd die band together and shove the cop off of him. It's because it's frightening. They're wearing guns. You know, they're not going to shoot 10 people, theoretically, but to get the, all 10 people on the same page of courage and bravery, very difficult. We hide behind our phones. We think that video surveillance is going to protect us. It ain't going to protect Jack, as you can see during the riots and looting. Dumbasses stealing things. Dumbasses burning libraries. Dumbasses or paid actors. I don't know which one. Just stop at the police station. That's all you need to do. If you got to burn something, burn the police station. And not in every city in America. Just the one responsible for the death. That's all you need to do. In fact, you don't even need to do anything violent. You know, just surround the place. Block it off. Don't let any cars in or out, right? I mean, peaceful things like Gandhi and... Everybody's hero, 
um, Martin Luther King, whom, as a child, when I was wanting to live in miracles, I confused with Martin Luther. I'm like, whoa, my parents, my parents were in the Reformation. I, I had a, a curious view of time when I was a child. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that I retract my uh, uh, enthusiasm for writing. I retract that, and now I say, demonstrate logically, not like a dumbass. Oh my God, it's so stupid. We're being manipulated, and we we're powerless against it. Because who do you believe? Who do you believe? Do you believe NPR, Mike Cernovich, or do you believe the Scrouse? I ask you, who do you believe? Or do you believe X-Files? Trust no one. Back to your regularly scheduled painting. This is one of my favorite paintings. Oh, I gotta wipe this off. I spent too much time yakking. Should I wipe this too? Oh yeah, baby, I should wipe that. Uh, I should have wiped it immediately. Darn. Little water. I'm pressing fairly hard on this canvas. I'm in a state of. Uh, see now it's it's at the drying state where it, when it comes off it comes off all the way. I just want to. Construction stage. Got paint all over my hand. This is why I paint in acrylic. Because paint migrates. Ah! It came off of my rag. And I don't have another rag. Oh, I got these paper towels. Look at that! I'm just gonna leave it. Okay. Look at this, I'm making a mess of everything here. All right, so is that white enough for that? I gotta add some more magic sauce to that window. It's the small delights that I love the most. When I was a kid, my brother and I had a cardboard box and we were pretending it was a, a spaceship. And my brother, go, we were in Texas. My dad had moved to Texas. And it was our first year there, and we were like, we were like foreigners in, in Houston. And uh, my brother goes, we're in the box, and my brother says, hey, let's pretend there's winders over us. And it cracked us up for the rest of the day. Winders. He actually said winders. Whoa, we're developing a southern accent. Thank you, Disco Jesus, for rescuing me from my dumbass childhood and making me as dumbass that I am today. Amen. We told our dad that we said Winders, and uh, in retrospect, I don't think my dad really enjoyed us as children. He just kind of like, I just think he thought we, I don't think, I don't, he didn't really enjoy us. He just kind of, you know, we were just kids, we were around, and he didn't really, I, I want to use the word respect, but it's not really respect when you enjoy your child. You love their whimsical antics. Oh, here's a big calls. Anyway, I don't think he necessarily loved our whimsical antics. He didn't hate them. That same summer, though, he walked me through a, a Garfield comic strip. And he showed me how to study a comic strip so that I could become a cartoonist. Changed my life. Not enough. It didn't change my life enough, though. I mean, I didn't actually become a cartoonist. I just became sort of a guy who wanted to be a cartoonist someday. Okay, now I just wrecked this painting beyond repair. I'm not going to go back into these because I, I want I want to see how these the new color and the rubbed off section looks tomorrow. But what I'm going to do is add brighter yellow in here. I'm going to give it a super bright yellow ceiling. 
Azo yellow medium. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, it's got a green tint. Okay. Cool colors recede. Bright colors come forward. Dull colors recede. Warm colors come forward. Because of the green tint, yellow can go either way. It can be warm or cool. Because of the green tint on this trans highly transparent azo yellow, it recedes. But because of its brightness, it will come forward. That's not the droid I'm looking for. So let's see what we can accomplish this way. This room is always very bright. It's probably not as bright as any other room now, but when I first moved in, there was a tree blocking this window, even though this is a, these are eastern facing windows. And so this room never got any natural light. But now that the, all the trees have been cut down, things may be different, but I, I feel like they're not. Maybe I'm just, you know, going through things in my back of my mind, you know. Uh, uh, like I, I'm not allowing the world to change around me because of my perce perceived, perceived notions of how it should be. I'm gonna add a little burnt umber. If I can find it. Throw this rag in the dumpster. Put this paper towel right here. So oh, okay, who else we got? We got uh, it's Lasmo B. Hey, buddy. Thanks for joining me, everybody. On. I have a close-up cam here. That's my close-up cam. It's actually Instagram. Instagram is the close-up cam here. This is my setup Instagram. This is my wheel mouse. It's great. It's like a remote control. This is a computer that are two, two programs doing things. Two programs doing things. That's how we do things around here. We have two programs doing them. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice, but this is my audio system. If you, want to see, if you want the background view, you're going to have to view my live stream on Instagram. Um, what's up? I had a dream last night of a woman who told me that she'd always wanted to get to know me better. That was a satisfying dream. We hugged. Oh, okay, so let's, let's add some brightness here. The trouble is that she's somebody I know, and she's like just a college kid, way too young, and we wouldn't get along. So why did I dream about her? I don't know. I have to figure out somehow what she represents in my subconscious. When I dreamt about Joe Rogan, that was easy. Rogan is like the guy who did everything right, you know? He's the guy that we... He's like a man's man. He's like... The guy, he's ripped, he fights, you know, Jordan Peterson talks about how awesome he is, he's smart, he's hilarious. I don't think he's that hilarious, that book, but I don't really like comedy, stand-up comedy. But he's got his talk show that's really great. I love Joe Rogan because he's so kind, but he's not weak. He's kind, but not weak. He's everything I wanted to be as a human being. So when I dreamt about him, it made sense. I don't know when I dream about this this girl from St. Mark's. I don't know why. All right, now this couch, it, it's weird because it ends here behind his tail. I feel like it should come out a little bit further so that you can tell what it is. I'm going to have to fix that. Um, let's see, now the couch is almost perfect. Almost. And this is going to add more mess, but we got to do it. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but we gotta try it. I'm gonna use the remainder of this yellow, some goddess blue. I don't know if that comes too much forward, does it? I don't know, it's weird. Light is bizarre. It, 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 there's rules for it, but it, the rules don't always work. Like this case in point. We have a darker thing in the foreground, it's weird. So it just needs to be barely there. And it's transparent because I'm using a transparent color. I need to add cadmium so that I can block what's underneath. So 
we'll add cadmium to the goddess blue. Oh, and that's very... Okay, well, whatever. Here we go. Is it time yet? Is it time to talk about anime? Yes, it is! Okay, let me quick put this in. That. I think that's better. It gives us more of an idea that there's a, a solid object behind him. It's it, you got to watch out when things overlap because if they overlap improperly, like the famous picture of a telephone pole growing out of somebody's head, for instance. Uh, there's one time I took a picture of myself in front of the uh, Capitol Dome, the Wisconsin State Capitol Dome, and it looked like the Capitol Dome was coming out of the top of my head and somebody comments. I posted it on Instagram. I posted it on Instagram and somebody commented, nice hat. Who else do we have here? Charlie Athanas. What's up, Charlie Athanas? Thanks for joining me. This is the close-up cam. For the wide angle, see me on YouTube. This is live, team. We are going live. Mike Cernovich just posted a Periscope. He was just live on Periscope and he was saying that just the title was we are being radicalized in real time it's true we are i just say we're being managed wow look i got paint all the way on the window oh man okay uh this isn't my studio this is a revision gallery okay what we got here is a mess that door is we'll make it wood color which means brown i'll hit some burnt sienna oh yeah i'll add extra burnt sienna to this mess of very light burnt sienna that I have here. I'm wearing some new pants that I had taken to a tailor here and I was singing their praises last week but the pants don't fit. They messed up on my waist. They always mess up on my waist. One time I went to a tailor to get a, a jacket brought in and I take off the jacket and she's like, my, you are slight wasted, aren't you? I'm like, piss off. So that's the last thing a man wants to hear, you know, how, how weak they are. But I hear it repeatedly. I'm always forced to hear from women how skinny I am. At least men are more discreet. They're like, I feel you, brother. I understand. I'm sorry that you're you. I'm glad I'm not as skinny as you. Yeah, that's, that's, we, they know the score. Here's an example of how women don't know the score. This is the difference between women and men and body image. I said to my mom, I had been working out and lifting weights and running for, this is in my mid-30s, for almost a year, nine months. And I was really excited. I was very dedicated. Didn't miss a day <clears throat> and of working out. And... I just casually brought it up to my mom. I gained 10 pounds, and she goes, but you lose inches. She's trying to console me. It's okay. You lose inches. I'm like, Ma, you don't understand. I want pounds and inches. I mean, look at this. This, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. But when, when, I, when you see me all together, it's just like a stick figure. It drives me nuts. Look at this. There's nothing here. I'm the Ibsen's narrow-chested man. Okay. And I regret every second of being born. I'm just kidding. I don't regret being born. Uh, okay, and I've said it before. You know, I've had people scream out bus windows. I wish I was as skinny as you. Middle school girls wishing they were as skinny as me. I wish they'd have some empathy and just feel sorry for me. You know, like, <laughs> here, here's five bucks. Oof. I'm sorry that happened to you, man bad genetics because on top of be having a woman's body when the famine hits after all these riots when the supply chains break down and the stores stop supplying us with our needed nutrients I will be the first one dead either because I can't defend myself because 
the saggage in the muscle, or because my extremely fast metabolism devours every cell in my body. In fact, you won't even see me starve. I'll just sort of like evaporate inside out. Okay, how are we? How is everything going? Oh, it's we're late. We're late for the anime review. I've been watching on Netflix. I've been binging on anime, and I love every second of it, even though I should actually be doing work on my comic book. I've been binging on anime instead and watching several shows from beginning to end. I just finished Kiro Makiro, which was about giant robots and a samurai from the past. And right now I'm watching Parasite, which is a recent anime based off of a mid-90s manga, which I had read like 10 years ago I read this manga. It's about a parasite from space, a little worm uh, lands and it enters your body and it goes for your brain and it takes over your head and it can shift in shape and uh, be hard or soft so it can eyeballs come out everywhere, a mouth and knives and it chops people up and it eats them, it eats people. But this kid, the main character, the main character has a parasite that enters his arm and he sees it crawling up under his arm and he ties a tourniquet on his arm so the parasite can't get any further and it takes over his right arm it becomes his right arm and he's this mousy kid and eventually he becomes strong because it has to repair his heart when another parasite kills him and the parasite has no emotion oh it's so great there's many great things one thing in an episode that i recently saw was the idea of being in your body so now now that he has the parasite cells mixed throughout his own body after this parasite repaired his heart he's lost part of his humanity he's lost m some of his emotions yet he's hyper aware of his physical sensations he can feel things uh, changes in temperature he can hear things from far away his eyesight is keener his body performs better he's in his body he's more embodied but it makes him distant emotionally it's like he's locked out of his emotions and he's unaware of it he's he he's wonders if he's changed i thought that was a fascinating thing particularly since i've been listening to jason horsley for the last few years whose focus is to be embodied be in your body don't try to be spiritual that's horsley's thing you can learn more about jason horsley at autoculture.com or on his podcast the liminalist i recommend that so I'm I'm, re I'm watching Parasite. Another one I'm watching is Doro... No, Kiro Mokiro and Doro Mudoro. It's another one with like a double name. The Japanese have such great words. Tinto Mushi, for instance, which is Ladybug. Or Tenpopo, which is... I believe it's Dandelion. I, they're so cute. It, <laughs> the words they use are so cute. There's this one that comes up a lot. It, it's a word... I don't know how it's defined. I'm trying to pay attention to the words that are spoken because I read the subtitles and I want to learn what they mean. I want to learn the Japanese. I'm not really learning anything. Wushi wushi, mushi mushi is hello on the phone. But there, there's another one where they say, say the same two syllables three times in a row and it's really cute. It's like a little kid talking. I love it. It's so great. Anyway, Doro Midoro, no, Doro Modoro, Doro, I don't know. There's a guy with a lizard head, uh, takes place in a burnt out apocalyptic city called the hole which is connected to a place uh which is like wonderland and everybody there is a wizard and they have a specialty and they they have dust that is emitted and that's their magic and this guy has had his head turned into the head of a lizard and he bites magicians their whole head in his mouth and he holds them there and then a head com comes up his throat and speaks to them and he always asks them what did it say what did it say and if the head says, you are not the one, he kills them. He's looking, he doesn't have any memory, he doesn't know who he was, he's looking for his identity, he's looking for his killer. It's really fascinating, it's great, it's got so many wonderful ideas with the setting, and with the other characters, and with the plot. Some of the characters, the bad guy characters are fascinating, it's a crew of killers, uh, a woman who's built like the Hulk, and a guy, and they're like, he's laid back, and he just kills people with a hammer, and the woman just loves to fight. And then there's two weaklings, the weak guy, and he's bumbling. And then the girl who's lost her mind because she had her face bit off by the main character. They regrow it later. And she wears a skull mask. It's wonderful! It's everything I could ever want in an anime. I recommend it. Now then, back to this painting that I just ruined. 
What do we got here? Does it look all right? I don't know. This needs to be darker. I need to need to do a Vermeer on this wall, but you know who the hell can do that without a camera lucida? Uh, so what I'm gonna do is my new favorite color, burnt umber, and lots of magic sauce. In fact, I'm not gonna use magic sauce. I'm gonna scoop glazing this glaze stuff right out of the, right out of this can. I have a can of glazing stuff. I'm just going to scoop some out. A nice wad of it. Now the trouble with this glazing, this gloss, is that it's glossier than the acrylic paint naturally is. I chose that because I wanted the most transparent thing. And then at the end I would go over the whole painting with a satin varnish. But I didn't want the layers to be cloudy. That was my thinking. The trouble is, wherever the, like there's some gloss here and regular paint here, and it, there's a sheen that you can tell. Whoops, take a it. All right, so let's do this, like Brutus. Yeah, perfect, baby. Okay. It looks like chocolate mousse on my palate. Tempting. Okay, so one crazy thing after another is going on in the current events world of the world. What does it all mean? What is happening? Everything was so peaceful for my entire life. All I had to worry about was possible starvation, possible murder in a riot. It's exciting. Possible psychopath in the Oval Office, or is he a hilarious patriot? I don't know. I don't know what Trump is, but I love watching him decimate the Democrats, <laughs> and I love watching them cut out. Oh, I love it. But we'll see what happens. The, our real enemy is neither Republican nor Democrat. Our real enemy is and lobbyists and bureaucracy. We need all those three things to die. All right, I'm going to stop the Instagram live because it's interfering with the... Okay, sorry. Goodbye, Instagram. The Instagram live was, is interfering with my YouTube stream here, so I've just cut it, cut it out. And, oh! I gotta start wrapping things up. I haven't done anything in the painting. Let's, uh, um, uh, well, uh, okay, I need more chocolate mousse over here. It should be darker than the big old face's face is brighter. Uh, do the vermeer, do the vermeer. Everyone is far, no one is near. Do the Vermeer. A gentle, imperceptible to the human eye blending of shade and tone. Across a wall, scratched and craw clawed along the wall, into my life, into my destiny. Okay, let's see. My brush is rolling around in my palette. Well, this is going to be a weird stream because I'm getting the, the warning signals from YouTube. Too much activity on the Wi-Fi. Let's see. We got this. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to cover that up with the chocolate sauce. Oh, the chocolate sauce is too much magic sauce. Let's uh, add some chocolate to the magic. There we go. That's better. Oh yeah, baby. I don't like brown, but look, look at how awesome it's behaving here. I mean, when I say I don't like it, I'm just saying it's, you know, not my favorite. Some people love it because it's an earth tone. They're like, paint it with an earth tone. You know, their house. Why would anybody do that? 
It defies all that's right in the world. Alright. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing or what's happening next. Um, here we go. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so we got... It's too... This, uh, see, this is, doesn't match anything. That's too light. i got to hit that with some white now. Which I don't have on my palette. So let's just hit it with this stuff. Oh, there we go. Back and forth. And this shouldn't even be yellow. This should just be a brighter purple. Right? I mean, that's what these say. Or maybe a purple with a white in it. Let's see, let's try it. Uh, that's what these things are in your house, right? So let's add some dioxazine to the original purple sauce that I mixed up at the beginning. And we'll hit it like that. better it's not it's not yet better Dormodoro, incidentally, was written by somebody named Q Hayashida. I remember, she's a female cartoonist in Japan, I remember her name because there's a character from Cromartie High School named Hayashida. Often I can't remember Japanese names because they're so unusual. But I remember Hayashida. I spent many hours with Hayashida reading Cromartie High School. Make this even darker. Do that with actual ivory black. Just adding things to try to make this awesome in a quick manner. I, whoops, yeah, that's too dark. Okay, it's all right. We'll, we'll use the wipe off method. All is not lost. All's not lost. All is not lost. Oh, see, it's got the water method up on top, so yeah, that looks good. Now, I don't know if that did anything. All right, so I'm going to wrap it up, team. I'm wrapping it up, team, Cave Dweller, because I want to uh, close this video and make it compatible for posting in other places that restrict you to one hour. Hello, Instagram. Someday, oh, before I leave, i just let you know that I have submitted to the Luxembourg Prize my art. So if you've also submitted your art to the Luxembourg Prize, you might as well just get back into the website and delete your submission because there's no hope of you winning now that I'm there. I hate to break out to you. That's just the way it goes. See this million dollar bill? It's not quite a million anymore. But this is coming my way. Thank you, Luxembourg Prize. Thank you, Cave Dweller. Thanks for being here. I'm signing off. I'm the Scrouse. I am your pal for hire. Anything that you can do, I can do better. Or so I tell myself. And it keeps me going.